St. Pete police tell us if it had not been for a three-day waiting period for the purchase of firearms, there could have been a tragedy on the Eckerd College campus. The very day a student threatened to shoot up the school, he put a down payment on a handgun. But he did not have the possession of that handgun. News Channel 8's Chip Wasowski at the Pinellas County Jail tonight with the new information about this. Oh, good afternoon to you both. The name of that student is Eli Johnson. Normally he would be here at the Pinellas County Jail, but he's currently in the hospital being treated. And normally after being released from the hospital, he would be booked here at the county jail. But it's not clear if that is going to happen because he is already posted bond. According to the arrest report, Eli Johnson left a voicemail message on the victim's cell phone saying, quote, I also want you to know that I'm going to kill you before I kill myself. I'm going to shoot you in the face and then I'm going to shoot up the school. Johnson is a student at Eckerd College in St. Petersburg. The victim called St. Pete police and officers began their investigation. At first, they didn't know if the threat was credible. As it started to unfold that uh, the individual tried to purchase a firearm that day. Assistant Chief Michael Cavasso tells Aid on Your Side, Johnson went to this Cash America store on 34th Street North in Leoman and put a down payment on a semi-automatic pistol with two magazines. An employee who refused an on-camera interview told me Johnson was acting strangely and nervous and told her he needed the weapon for protection. Investigators believe that three-day waiting period may have saved lives. Had this person not come forward and had this 72-hour wait period not been in place, he would have had the means to carry out the threat. Yes, if he would have been able to purchase that firearm without the 72-hour period, you could have potentially had some issues. I tried calling Johnson's father for comment. Yes, I was trying to reach Mr. Johnson. This is Chip Osowski with WFLA-TV in Tampa. The person who answered immediately hung up. And police tell us prior to his arrest, Johnson ingested several pills, and that's why he was taken to the hospital before being Baker acted. Coming up on News Channel 8 at 5, what Eckerd College has to say about this arrest. Stacey. All right. Chip Osowski live for us tonight. Thank you.